this is the bee father coming to you i'm doing a greenhouse cleanup today i just want to flip the camera around and show you what i got going on please like share and subscribe it would be highly appreciated thank you all right so here we go i already started a little bit but as you can see i'm well overgrown in here well overgrown in here but as you can see i already started putting stuff inside the bag i even got stuff growing up the side right here where my batteries in this blue tote it comes the energy comes from these solar panels right here that i bought um as you can see i got stuff sprawled all outside I had the mango in last night because it got down to 36 degrees. The mango is this one right here. And it cannot be in the cold. That plant cost me way too much money in order for me to just leave it outside. And I'm going to flip the camera around again. I got more bags. I got pots. I do have another solar panel that goes to the greenhouse. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you back on the tripod, and when I do, I'll be right back with you. Thank you. So I'm going to give you a little action footage of me actually cleaning up the greenhouse. Bear with me. Thank you, and I appreciate your time and your generosity. Please like, share, and subscribe. It would be highly appreciated. Thank you. Putting on my gloves. I'm just working my way around the greenhouse counterclockwise, pulling out weeds. not going to say I'm going to be able to get it perfect because these weeds are persistent but I'm going to do what I can this is for the winter time cleanup for the spring so I can plant out seed over the winter to spring and then going into summer with my plant starts
basically what I'm doing is I'm piling everything up inside the, the greenhouse in the middle of the floor so to make it easier on me to be able to you know clean up I'm gonna bring another bag in and get started Doing my thing, y'all doing my thing. This is what growing vegetables is all about. Preparing, prepping, and getting everything ready for the next phase of growing vegetables. Get down and dirty about mine, y'all. Down and dirty. Same number of crabgrass. See, I got weed barrier, but <laughs> the barrier ain't weeding. Had to move my battery box out I got four batteries in there for my solar panels Two reasons why I have gloves on. It's warmer in my greenhouse when the door is shut because I got to keep my mango plant inside. And another reason is not only what I don't want to tear my hands up, spiders. I don't want to get bitten on my hands.
probably about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. But, hey, it's better than what it was. This is all going to go on my greenways. And then heading into the springtime, the fight again is on it with the weeds. I'll keep them down. I'll pull them as they come up. I use grow light, so. And it's warm in here, so it's easy for them to want to, you know, just be in here. And it's a humid environment, which peppers and tomatoes love. But. For the meantime and in between time, that's about the best I can do with the greenhouse. It don't have to be perfect, it just got to be doable. I'm representing all the rustic gardeners, the ones that's after results, not perfection. Perfection is unattainable. You can cheat, try to achieve it, but basically all you want to do is make sure that all your vegetables, or the majority of them, survive to the summertime or should I say the springtime, in order to go out in the garden and flourish for you. I'm going to take you through that process as well. When it come up, I just wanted to bring you some content and let you know that you too can grow your own vegetables within your yard. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And I appreciate your time and your generosity. And please share. Thank you. You can definitely see how much better the greenhouse is looking. Yeah, I know. You got dead stuff on the ground. That's That stuff is hard to clean up. It's hard to get up. But, I'm going to start putting the stuff inside the greenhouse. And, uh, I'll give you a further update when it's, you know, needed. Alright, thank you.